He is a former First Amendment lawyer, now the head of the third largest newspaper company in the United States. Soon, 54-year-old Gary Pruitt will become the next president and CEO of the Associated Press. I can't wait to get started. Um, it is the dream job to get the chance to lead the world's most important news organization. Pruitt is joining the AP from the McClatchy Company, which owns newspapers like the Sacramento Bee and the Miami Herald. He replaces Tom Curley, leader of the AP for nine years, who is retiring. It's been intense, uh, but I will tell you that it's been a lot of fun and there's been a lot of love. It's, uh, it's a pretty, pretty spectacular place. Pruitt is joining a news organization pressed by rapid changes in the industry. The AP has spent much of the past decade working to transform itself, launching new platforms for multimedia content, looking for new places to make money. Whatever uh, job you hold in the media industry, it's revenue, revenue, revenue. And so coming up with the products that are relevant for the new age of distribution and how people are consuming the news is essential. So he's somebody who who really has thought about this and looked at different ways to present and package the news and that role has got to be paramount. The financial squeeze facing many media companies has them relying on the AP for news gathering. Pruitt says that is the AP's hallmark. Journalism is very important but that doesn't guarantee its survival. That's what we have to get right at AP. We've got to make sure that we can generate the revenue to sustain and further quality journalism. More than half of the world's population sees news reported by the AP on any given day. The not-for-profit cooperative is owned by its member newspapers and has about 3,700 employees worldwide, two-thirds of them journalists. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.